Okay, now we want to cover a few more cavities that you're going to find in your uh, head region. Um, these are again, going to be ventral cavities. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is salivary glands. And let's look at this model right here. Um, you can actually see that you have several pairs of salivary glands. You'll learn those next semester. But again, anytime you see this kind of cottage cheesy looking tissue, that's going to mean that it's some sort of a gland. So you have, these are the parotid salivary glands, and then you've got glands underneath here, underneath that bone right there, your mandible. You've got a gland right there. You've got other salivary glands <laughs> under your tongue. Um, I can take the head <laughs> off. <laughs> and so you can see, so you've got the parotid salivary glands, you've got the uh, submandibular salivary glands, and then you've got the sublingual. There's your tongue. Lingual is tongue, so that would be sublingual. Don't worry about naming each one of those. Just know that those are all salivary glands. Um, your cavities in your uh, head are kind of named um, differently, and let's, let's kind of go through these. So I'm just going to take this guy off, and we're looking at a sagittal section here again. Um, you've got your nasal cavity that runs behind your nose, and then you've got your oral cavity that's in your mouth, okay? Well, the nasal cavity and the oral cavity are connected by this tube here known as the pharynx. Pharynx would just be what you would refer to as your throat, but you've got different divisions of the pharynx. Behind the nose, you have the nasopharynx. Behind the oral cavity, you have the oropharynx. And then down here where you have your little voice box that you'll learn about later on known as the larynx, you have the laryngopharynx. But for now, just know nasal cavity, oral cavity, pharynx, not pharynx, pharynx, and then the pharynx is going to lead down and food is going to come through, um, food and air and water and drink are all going to be in this common pharynx tube, but then you're going to have to separate things out. You've got the trachea, which is anterior, so if you're sitting in the front, that's going to be the one in front, and then the esophagus, which is posterior, um, and that's where food and drink are going to go down and go to your stomach. So you've got this little flap here that's going to close off the trachea. That's known as the epiglottis so that you don't get food and drink going down into your lungs. You want to make sure you uh, pull them into the right directions. So just remember those cavities. Also in the oral cavity, you have a cavity that's inside your teeth is what we call the oral cavity. But then you have what's known as a buccal cavity and that's the cavity that's between your cheeks, that fleshy part of your cheek, and if you put your teeth together, you've got this cavity right here, yeah. So that would be your buccal cavity, this, like that, the, the, between your cheeks and your teeth. That's the buccal cavity. Um, you've also got a cavity for your eyes. Um, you can see, like right here, that that is known as the otic, or excuse me, orbital cavity, where your eyes are found. And then you have an otic cavity that opens up into your ears. Um, so if you use a otoscope where the doctor looks with a little light in your ear, that's the otoscope. That's the otic cavity and then the orbital cavity that your eye sits in. Um, also in the throat region here, you've got another gland here that kind of looks like a butterfly shape. If you look over at this model here, um, you've got a nice big butterfly shape right there, gland. That's known as the thyroid gland. The thyroid's gonna help you regulate your body's metabolism, um, gives you energy, or if you don't have energy, so that's, that's what that does, so that's your thyroid gland. And I think those are all the uh, glands and stuff on the head.